Greetings, St. Catherine Drexel family. This marks the third in a series of four stewardship talks. Uh, past few weeks, we've been talking about uh, how to share our time and talent. I want to do that again today. Uh, and next week, I want to talk about the third aspect of uh, stewardship here at the parish, which is uh, the stewardship of treasure. Uh, but back to the stewardship of time and talent. Uh, so two weeks ago, we did mention our parish mission statement and focused on uh, the ministries that fall under our worship commission. And uh, last week mentioned uh, uh, the return of religious education and also mentioned uh, ministries that fall under education and uh, evangelization. And this week, I would like to focus our attention on the ministries that fall under parish community life and our Justice and Service Commissions. So the public celebration of worship at Mass is the primary way, certainly, that we come together as Catholics to give praise and thanks to God. It is a key place uh, we're reminded of our mission as disciples of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yet there are a number of other important opportunities and important ways as a faith community that we come together uh, with our members and with guests. This is why the Parish Community Life Commission and its ministries exist. Usually, one of the chief functions of this uh, commission is creating social events uh, to help bring us together as a community. Obviously, this has been one of our greatest challenges in this pandemic because we can't come together in the normal way. So, um, Recently, however, a new ministry has been developed through this commission um, called the Renewing Lives Ministry, uh, or Enriching Lives Ministry, I should say, uh, and a, a special initiative we have under that ministry is called uh, Operation Embrace. It's a card writing ministry uh, to help us reach out to parish families, especially some we hardly ever see anymore or haven't seen for quite some time uh, due to this pandemic or other reasons. We're reaching out to volunteers who would like to be part of this ministry. One great thing about this ministry is that people can do it and be involved in it from home. One of the most encouraging signs of uh, the gospel at work in our midst is uh, the vitality and quality of our service ministries that fall under our service commission. Uh, and I'm talking about many. I'm just going to list some of them. The uh, Associates of Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament, uh, recently very involved uh, helping out uh, one of the Indian missions that they help out every year that St. Catherine Drexel helped found. Uh, our Creation Care Team and uh, their work on uh, continuing to keep us uh, informed of uh, how to care for our common home, the earth. Uh, Feed My Starving Children has started up again, and we have people faithfully involved in that. Our food pantry has uh, people been supplying that since this pandemic started, and we will continue to do that. Hesed House, we've continued to, even though many of the guidelines and rules have changed during this pandemic, we continue to uh, do our best to offer our meals when we can and offer them support. Hope for Haitians, many of you have continued to support that, even though we can't have our monthly sales. Uh, Habitat for Humanity, we've been involved in that again this summer. Uh, Ministry of Care, uh, we're striving to do that as best we can under these new uh, pandemic guidelines. Uh, domestic Abuse, we have not had much going on with that ministry, but... Uh, uh, we're aware that it's a problem always, but maybe even more during pandemic. So uh, please know that we have that ministry. Um, the pro-life ministry uh, has, a, has had some things and a number of things coming up, especially next month. Uh, St. Vincent de Paul has had many challenges during this time, but continues to meet and uh, uh, is there for people in need. And uh, all have functioned to some degree and continue to need volunteers to answer the call. The social mission of the parish greatly depends on a healthy commitment to the commissions of the above, uh, that the above two commissions represent. 
So please do consider being part of these essential ministries.